let us see some of the properties or theorems related to euclidean ring or euclidean domain the first uh, theorem is uh, the first theorem is theorem 1 every euclidean ring is a principal ideal ring so let us see its solution that every euclidean ring is a principal ideal ring proof let r be a euclidean ring we need to show that this r is a principal ideal ring let s be an arbitrary ideal of r select an arbitrary ideal if this s is the null ideal then s can be written as zero in small bracket means generated by this zero that is the ideal of r generated by zero therefore this s is a principal ideal so let us suppose that s is not a null ideal then there exist elements in s not equal to zero suppose b is a non zero element in s such that db is minimum that is there exist no element c in s such that dc is less than db since db is minimum so there is does not exist any element c such that this inequality holds good now we show that s is equal to b within a small bracket means s is generated by b that is s is nothing but the ideal generated by b let a small a small a be any element of s then by the definition of euclidean ring or euclidean domain there exist elements q and r in capital r such that we have this relation a is written as q into b plus r where either this small r is zero or dr is less than db for euclidean ring now q belongs to r and b belongs to s implies that q into b belongs to s why because this s is an ideal and a belongs to s qb belongs to s it implies that a minus qb belongs to s suppose this is your r belongs to s why because this is an ideal thus r belongs to s and we have either r is equal to 0 or dr less than db if r is non zero then dr will be less than db and but this contradicts our assumption what assumption that this b is the db is the minimum so which contradicts our assumption that no element in s has b value smaller than db therefore r cannot be equal to non zero it means r must be equal to zero and therefore a is equal to q into b it means every element a in s is a multiple of the generic element b see here this a is equal to qb so we can say that this a is a multiple of b thus a belongs to s implies that a belongs to b within a small bracket therefore s is contained in this b within a small bracket again if x b is any element of this b then x belongs to r now x belongs to r b belongs to s implies x b belongs to s therefore this b within a small bracket can is contained in s so from this any this and this uh, s is subset of b and b subset of s so we get s is equal to b within a small bracket it means every ideal s in r is a principal ideal therefore this r is a principal ideal ring or principal ideal domain sometimes you will get it Uh, let us see another theorem based on this euclidean domain or ring every euclidean ring possesses unity element see let r be a euclidean ring then obviously r is an ideal of r it means there exists an element u0 in r such that r is equal to u0 means r is generated by this u0 that is there exists there exists an element u0 in r such that every element in r is a multiple of u0 generated by means it is a multiple of all every element is a multiple of u0 since in particular u0 belongs to r therefore there exists an element c in r such that u0 is equal to u0 into c because this u0 is a multiple of 
this u0 we shall show that c is the required unity element let now a be any element of capital r since a belongs to r therefore there is some x in r such that a can be written as u0 into x why because this a is in r and r is generated by this u0 so a equal to some multiple of u0 suppose this is u0 into x for some x in r now a into c can be written as u0 x into c because the value of a is u0 into x or it can be written as u0 c into x because r is a commutative ring so this xc will be c into x or this u0 c is your u0 so this is equal to u0 into x and so it is equal to a means we come to the conclusion that ac is equal to a similarly we have ac is equal to a this is equal to ca for all a in r it from this equality we get that c is the unity element because if c is the unity only then this relation holds good there is another uh, theorem three See, let r be a euclidean ring and a and b be any two elements in r not both of which are zero means both of a and b are not simultaneously zero a one may be zero and another will not be zero then a and b have a greatest common divisor d which can be expressed in the form d is equal to lambda a plus mu b for some lambda mu in r you would have solved several problems in your Class six, uh, class eight, six, seven, eight, regarding this greatest common divisor. So this is the same thing. D is equal to lambda a plus mu b. Is proof. Consider the set S is equal to S a plus T b, where S t a belongs to R. We claim that this S is an ideal of R. For its proof, let us proceed. Let X is equal to S one a plus T one b, and Y is equal to S two a plus T two b. We have two elements of S. Then S one S two and T one T two all four belong to R. Now write X minus Y equal to S one A S one A plus T one B minus S two A plus T two B. So this is equal to S one minus S two A plus T one minus T two B. See this is of the form this one only S D is replaced by S one minus S two and T is replaced by T one minus T two. Here S T belongs to R since S one and S two both belongs to R. Here T one T two both belong to R, so this is of the same form as this one. It means it will be in S. This S one minus S two and T one minus T two are both elements of R. Thus, S is a subgroup of R with respect to addition. Also, if U is any element of R, then X into U is equal to U into X, which is equal to U into S one A plus T one B. Means substitute the value of X. This is equal to u s one into a plus u t one into b. This is again in s. Why? Because this u s one and u t one both are in R. Therefore, this s is an ideal of R. Now, every ideal in R is a principal ideal. Therefore, there exists an element d in s such that every element in s is a multiple of d. Since this d belongs to s, therefore from one. We see that there exists element lambda mu in R such that d can be written as lambda i plus mu b. Now, since R is a ring with unity element one, therefore substitute s is equal to one and t is equal to zero. Then a belongs to s. Also, substitute s is equal to zero, t is equal to zero one. Then you get b belongs to s. Now, a and b both are elements of s. Therefore, they are both multiples of D. They are both multiples of D, and D belongs to A and D belongs to B. Why? Because D is a, this is a multiple. So D belongs to A and D belongs to B. Now suppose C belongs to A and C belongs to B. Then C belong, uh, C divides A and C divides B. Then C will divide lambda A and C will divide mu B. Therefore, C is a, a it will be a divisor of lambda a plus mu b. This is the result. Since C divides lambda a and C divides lambda b, so divides C divides sum of these two. That is, C is a divisor of D. It means D is a greatest common divisor of A and B. So this uh, theorem is also proved. So for today, 
this is uh, we have all the topics covered and in the next class we will study about unique factorization theorem till then you just note down all of the topics studied today and if you have any query you send me a message on my whatsapp also this uh, lecture will be available on youtube so you can uh, send your comments or your queries there also in the comment section